Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is the walkthrough to OSINT exercise 002. On my website, you can find a number of OSINT exercises to practice your skills. If you have not attempted to solve this one yet, you can find the link in the description and give it a go first. If you're here because you have completed, well done, you should be very proud. If you're here because you want to find out how to solve it, I hope you find this video useful. So welcome to OSINT exercise 002 revised edition because it was pointed out to me that the answer I had given for the second question, this one here, on my original video walkthrough was wrong. <laughs> so a huge thank you to the person who corrected me. I love to be proven wrong with facts. It keeps me on my toes. So let's do this again. Task briefing. The photo below was shared on social media. It clearly depicts a train station. Please answer the following questions. A. What is the name of the train station seen in the photo? And B. What is the name and height of the tallest structure seen in the photo? You can click here to open the photo on a new page. You can click it there. It's slightly bigger, not much bigger, but you can see a bit better. And I have marked this exercise level as easy for beginners and experts. The first question, the second question, I have changed it and I have marked now as hard for beginners because if you fool me, it probably is going to fool you as well. And medium for experts because my fault, I should have paid attention, but it wasn't that hard anyway. So let's start with the first question. What is the name of the train station seen in the photo? Let's look at it. There is no shortage of clues. You can see it says Flinders Street, Flinders Street, Flinders Street, Flinders Street. I mean, at this point, I'm just giving you the answer. So let's just go to Google Maps and just Google Flinders Street. There you go. The first item on our list says railway station. We know we're looking for a railway station. The picture has a train, it has train tracks, and the question specifically said train station. So no surprise, let's click the first one and see where it leads us. Okay, so brilliant. We are apparently in Melbourne, Australia, and this seems to be a train station. Let's put this one on so you can see. Here you go. Okay, you can see the train tracks and this is a train station. We still need to verify that this is the correct place. So let's see if we can find any pictures here. So let's get our Pegman and just drop it here in one of the many panoramic images to see if we can get any visual confirmation that we are in the correct place. And lo and behold, yes, <laughs> we are on the correct place. And we ended up almost exactly where that picture was taken. So let me just put the windows next to each other and you can see the similarities. Here we go. We have our panoramic image on the left and we have the photo from exercise 002 on the right. And this is clearly the same location. You have these big buildings followed by the second building, this building, the tower, and this is the train station. So we have found the answer to the first question, which was what is the name of the train station seen in the photo? The train station was called Flinders street railway station now on to the second question and the tricky one what is the name and height of the tallest structure seen in the photo and for that let's look at the photo again it's going to put it bigger here we go okay so there are a few very tall structures here we just don't know which one is the tallest and that's what we need to find out first that information is hard to establish from a photo since the angle and the distance from the photographer will affect how we perceive the height of the building so we need to verify all the information and because we already know where this picture was taken we can quickly get the coordinates and check it out. So we're going to right click somewhere. We're going to copy. This will be copied to Clipboard. You can see it there. And we're going to Google Earth Pro, which I love and I use every single day. So let's go on a little adventure to Melbourne, Australia. OK, here we go. Brilliant. Perfect. I'm going to click that little X there because I don't need the coordinates anymore. And let's figure out where we are. So look at this. This is amazing. Look at all these 3D buildings. It's amazing. You can you do so much with it. So we're going to rotate a bit. So we're facing in the correct direction. So you can see there, these are the buildings that we could see from the photo. Let me put the windows again side by side so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, perfect. So here we go. Let me zoom a bit more. You can see the building. So you can see this one on the right is this one. We have this one. We have the tower here and the train station is here as we were expecting it. You may notice that there is a huge building on this side, but this building is not visible on this photo. So therefore we're going to ignore it because the question specifically asked, what is the name and height of the tallest structure seen in the photo? So if you cannot see it, we don't need it. 
let's ignore this one let's focus on the ones we can see this one so we can see this ones that's what we want to find out so we're going to just start from left to right we're going to skip a few buildings that we can immediately see are not at all a structure so this one we're going to skip this one this is clearly taller this is also taller so we don't need this one this also we're going to ignore this is much shorter so we're going to focus on the ones that are likely the tallest ones so let's start with this one there's a tower here we need to find out first what this tower is so then we can search how tall it is so let's jump again to google maps here we go again right so this is the railway we're facing this way you can already see the tower see this is the two towers one of them says ibm australia the other one says hwt which you can see here so you cannot see very well but you can see there says ibm and hwt so there you go we're facing this way and this is the tower that we're looking for so let's see just confirm we're in the correct place let's see if we see the tower and here we go this is what we're looking for and this is the same tower as we see here and the same tower that we can see here so brilliant now we need to find out how tall is this structure we can see here it says this is the arts center melbourne you can see the same name is there arts center melbourne so brilliant we can just google that so let's jump to google and search for arts center melbourne height because that's what we want to find out so it says here it's 162 meters tall that's brilliant okay we have a baseline now we need to figure out are the other buildings taller or shorter than 162 meters so now let's jump to the next one the ibm building let's see is the ibm building taller than the arts center melbourne let's quickly check what is the official name of this building so it's just ibm australia so that's it i guess great let's copy that and let's just paste that oh, that way ibm australia height 131 meters okay let's first make sure this is the correct building so we can see a picture here this looks very similar to the building we're looking for let's just check it out anyway okay so again it says 131 meters but let's quickly just verify this so i'm going to put again the images side by side and here we go this was the image we were looking at before we need to confirm that this building is indeed this building which is 131 meters tall so we need to look at the top so let's look at the top and try to put it on the correct angle so let's rotate this so it's facing exactly the same angle as the photo overall this is a perfect match so this is it this is the ibm australia and this is 131 meters tall so if you're thinking now okay so that's it we have reached our conclusion the tallest structure is this tower it is not that's what i did wrong the first time i did not check a very tiny detail so let me put this image again next to the photo from the exercise 002 and here we go again they're next to each other we have established the height of this one the tower is 162 meters we have established the height of this one the ibm building is 131 meters but we're missing a very important building from this image where is this building where is it and the most important question is this building taller than this tower here so we need to figure out the name of this building and then the height of this building so let's maximize google earth pro again here we go let me put the sidebar again and let's try to investigate what is the missing building and where can we find it somewhere else so look at that it's all flat there is something going on there but in this area is where you would expect to find this building but this building is not visible here so it's likely that this 3d image was taken at the time prior to the erection of this building so let's try to use the historical view which i have mentioned before we click there and it tells us that the most recent satellite imagery is from november 2022 so this is very recent and it's quite unlikely that they somehow erected the building within the few months between november 2022 and the time i published OSINT exercise 002 which was january 2023 so how can this be is the date wrong are we wrong what are we missing here and i'll tell you what we're missing here we're using the 3d building option which is great in general but in this case is hindering our progress so let's untick and look at it and suddenly we can see a building here 
Let's go back a bit, go through all of it to see if there's better images. This is a good one. It has a very specific angle there on this building. So again, I'm going to put the windows side by side. It's much easier when you have two screens, but I'm going to put them side by side. Okay, here we go again. See, there is an interesting angle going on. So let's go to our Google Maps, which was here. Okay, do you remember IBM? We're looking for something around here. So you see, it's not even showing the building here. It's quite interesting because you cannot see it on satellite imagery on Google Maps. You cannot see it on the 3D building option on Google Earth Pro, but you can see it on the satellite image of Google Earth Pro because it is there. So let's check it out if you can see it on Street View because this is a mess. <laughs> I'm going to put the images side by side again. Oh my God, you're going to get tired of all of this, but it's useful. It's always very useful. Okay, so here we go. See, this is the interesting angle we were looking at. You can see the dark blue is there. The dark blue is there. Actually, the dark blue is also on that side. So you can see all the glass is there. It's like very mirrored. You can see a lot of reflection. Ooh, and I moved it, but that's fine. Okay, so we have established. Okay, this is definitely the same building. Now, what is the name of this building? So we can try to figure out what is the height of the building. So let's see if by any chance it'll tell us if we're just standing in front of it. So yeah, look at that. Focus. Focus. Brand new apartments for sale. Focus apartments. Brilliant. Okay, that's it. We're going to Google Focus Apartments Melbourne height. This should be fairly straightforward. Let's go back again to Google Focus Apartments Melbourne. Here you go. Yes. And tell me the height please. And there we go, 167 meters tall. This is definitely the same building we were looking at. Let's just click it since this seems to be the people that have developed it. And this is their website. No, I always say no to everything. <laughs> So let me just scroll to see if it says anything interesting. Okay, so yes, Melbourne, Australia, correct place, Focus Apartments. Yes, definitely we were looking at. And it says they're 160 meters tall. We have reached the answer to our second question because if you do remember, the tower was 162 meters tall. This number is obviously bigger than 162. Therefore, this is the correct answer. So in order to answer the second question, what is the name and height of the tallest structure seen in the photo? The tallest structure seen in the photo is the Focus apartment building at 167 meters tall. And there you go. This is 100% now the correct answer. I hope it made sense. It's okay to be wrong as long as you correct it afterwards. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It will hinder your ability to progress. Thank you for listening.